Hey everyone, I made this beautiful breakfast charcuterie board for Valentine's Day and I can't wait to show you how to make it, so let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by making some heart-shaped waffles. In a large bowl, sift 1 and 3 fourths cup of flour, 1 teaspoon of baking soda, 1 and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Next, set your dry ingredients to the side and separate three eggs. When you finish separating your eggs, set your egg whites to the side. In the bowl containing your egg whites, add 1 3rd cup of sugar. Beat the egg yolks and sugar together until the mixture becomes light in color, thick and smooth. Next, mix in 1 stick of melted unsalted butter. One and three fourths cup of buttermilk, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. When you're finished mixing everything together, set your wet ingredients to the side. Next, Take your egg whites and beat them until stiff peaks form. When you're finished beating your egg whites, set them to the side. Next, take out your dry ingredients from before and create a well in the center. Then pour your wet ingredients in the center of the well. Mix everything together until almost combined. Then using a spatula, fold in your egg whites. After folding in the egg whites, your batter is all finished. It should be smooth with a few lumps. Now that your batter is finished, you can begin making your waffles. I'm going to use this cute mini heart-shaped waffle maker that I got off Amazon. After unboxing my new waffle maker, I made sure to clean it before I used it. Once your waffle iron is hot, brush some melted butter or spray some nonstick spray onto the surface. Then add your batter and cook your waffle. Once your waffle is finished cooking, take it out and repeat this process until you run out of batter.
Now that we've finished making our waffles, we are going to move on and make some heart-shaped pancakes. In a bowl, sift two cups of flour, three tablespoons of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and one and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Then create a well in the middle of your dry ingredients. Next, in the center of the well, add two and a half cups of buttermilk, two eggs, and three tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. Then whisk everything together. Make sure not to overmix your batter, it's okay if there are some lumps. Next, in a pan over medium heat, add a bit of oil or butter. To make our heart-shaped pancakes, we're going to use this non-stick heart-shaped ring. Once you place your ring in the pan, Add a quarter cup of batter into it, then quickly spread the batter throughout the ring. Once bubbles start to form and the other side of your pancake is golden brown, remove the ring and flip your pancake. Cook your pancake until the other side is golden brown as well and then take it out of the pan. Repeat this process until you've run out of batter. Now that we've finished making the pancakes, we can move on and make the sides to our charcuterie board. You can make or add whatever sides you want to your charcuterie board, but I'm going to show you the sides that I made. First, I cooked some bacon in a pan over medium heat. Once I finished cooking the bacon, I removed it from the pan and removed some of the bacon fat. I left a bit in the pan so I can cook some diced potatoes. I added quite a bit of diced potatoes in the pan and then I seasoned them with seasoned salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, rosemaria seasoning blend, and paprika. After seasoning the potatoes, I just cooked it over medium heat until it was crispy and golden brown. And let me tell you, those potatoes were so good, I ended up remaking them the next day for breakfast. Next, I made some grits. To make the grits, I added a half a cup of grits, one cup of milk, and one cup of heavy cream into a pot. Then I cooked the grits over medium-low heat for about 5-7 to seven minutes while stirring occasionally. By the way, I'm using the Quaker Oats Quick 5-Minute Grits. Once the grits finished cooking, I lowered the heat and added butter, pepper, salt, and cheese. Then I mixed everything together.
then after making the grits, I made some scrambled eggs. I'm making scrambled eggs because I like scrambled eggs more than I like fried eggs, but if you like fried eggs, then I suggest using the heart-shaped ring to make some heart-shaped fried eggs because I think that would be really cool. To make the scrambled eggs, I basically just cracked four eggs in the pan and added a few tablespoons of butter. Then I continued to cook the eggs over medium heat while adding some heavy cream, salt, pepper, and cheese. After you finish making your sides, you can begin to arrange your charcuterie board. When I was arranging the charcuterie board, I placed the scrambled eggs in a little cup and I add some chives on top, and then I placed the pancakes down the middle and I added some warm croissants. Then I added the fruit with some sliced oranges and I also added the waffles. Then finally I added the bacon and the potatoes and a bit more fruit. Oh, and I also added the grits in a little cup as well and topped it with some cheddar cheese. And this is the finished result! It looks so pretty! Everything looks amazing! I'm super happy it came out exactly the way I imagined it in my head. The heart-shaped pancakes and waffles look so cute. They also tasted really, really good. Like I said before, the potatoes were really good. I had to stop myself from eating them while I was cooking, so I had enough for the video. The grits and eggs were good as well. Chives on eggs are the best. Overall, I'd give it a 100 out of 10. Seriously, I'm like super proud of this one. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!